Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to create a home page image slider that features your content and recent posts or most popular posts or uses some other query string um, to basically highlight stuff on your home page in a cool way. You see them everywhere. Uh, just to get an example, I'll think of one off the top of my head, mba.com for example. They have a slider right here. Once this page loads up, well, it looks like I found a bad example. I used to have a slider. Let's go over to MLB.com. Since I'm a sports guy, okay. Here's what I mean. This is a slider built with jQuery most likely and that's what we're going to be building on our home page today you can see it rotates by itself or you could slide from one to the next you also have a navigation down here so that's what we're going to do for my home page at searchandpurge.com and as you can see right now um, there's nothing up there at the top so we're going to want to get something up there that's similar to what we saw at MLB.com. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, this is this is basically the add-on screen in the Soliloquy plugin. Um, and these add-ons only come with the developer package, which I upgraded to after about a week because I really wanted the featured content add-on for one of my own sites. Um, and I've loved it so far. It works great. Um, and now I'd like to implement the same thing on my search and purge site. So what you want to do is just click the simple button, install add-on. And you can see it's installing now, and then you just activate it right here. Right, so you can see it's activated now. And to create the featured content slider, we're going to now go over to this add new tab under the bigger solilo uh, soliloquy tab. Actually, instead of doing that, I'm just going to show you one that I already created that um, has everything you would need. And I'll walk through all of the options that you can set. So I've created a slider called Home Page Slider. And the first thing you're going to want to do when creating a featured content slider is refer to this yellow box here and just click the radio button for featured content slider. So there's a lot of, well not really a ton of settings, but there's a good amount to deal with here. So you want to decide what you want in your slider or your featured concert content slider. And we have post type set as post. It could also be a page if you want. Posts and pages would be that. But we're just going to do posts. And you can actually choose what categories show up in the slider. Um, so here are all my categories at the moment. Uh, what tags you want to show up in the slider. So you, you really can do pretty much anything you want, any kind of combination. You can decide to exclude things or include things. So say I wanted to exclude the category or exclude a particular post. Uh, you're able to do that here. So that's kind of cool. We're not going to do that for now. Um, and then you could sort by date. So all kinds of things that you can do here. The default settings, I think, are pretty good as they are. Um, just down here, let me give you a brief summary. You can have your content previewed in the box. So remember over on the MLB.com page, we saw that there were little excerpts of the articles overlaid um, on the image. Uh, so that's what this will do. 40 is the default, and you can also 
customize the read more link or continue reading link as they call it uh, I decided to call it read more and everything else down here is the same settings we saw before with the standard soliloquy slider so I have the size set to 700 by 400 and this is what I think I want to do here um, so one thing that we're missing here let's just update this real quick so remember the preview add-on that we had before need to make sure that that's activated so I'm going over here to activate it again now let's go back to the slider we were just working on and I'm going to go down to the preview now click here to generate a preview and this is what it will look like something like this uh, not the prettiest thing out of the box I should do some CSS customizations obviously but it's pulling my featured images from these posts and putting them into the slider so since this is a 700 width slider it would be ideal to have an image that is 700 width pixel wise so this image right here is only 300 wide so it doesn't look great but um, you get the idea this is a really basic slider that we're doing here so now last step adding it to the home page I'm going to head over to pages and I'm going to find my home page and it's as simple as deciding where you want it to go clicking the soliloquy I icon choosing which slider you want to add so I'm going to do the home page slider, insert slider it inserts the short code here and you can preview the changes before you actually update so let's see how that looks And there it is. You can see that loaded very quickly, which is cool and one of the great things about this plugin. Uh, so there you have it. That's a very basic slider. I'll show you a prettier one uh, in the next video. Thanks.